What a magnificent re reception for the legendary figure who is Hassan Boy Dusmatov, the man from right here in Uzbekistan, returning to represent his country on the global stage. The 2016 Olympic champion, the Val Barca trophy winner during the course of that tournament, was ringside in Rio to commentate on that triumph. There he is, competing in the world championships once again with professional experience under his belt. His opponent is the reigning European Championship gold medalist, Martin Molina Salvador from Spain. The man from Valladolid is the tournament number two seed. For his fourth oh. bout, ladies and gentlemen, and we're underway here in seven rounds with bout 502. Bout 502 is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in an elite men's flyweight division matchup. Your five judges will be representing you tonight ringside from Algeria, Guatemala, Afghanistan, Australia, and Croatia. And with the action begins, for your referee in the center of the ring by the bell, representing the IBA by way of Italy with referee Luca Vadilonga. So Luca Vadilonga of Italy is our referee. Both men have returned to their respective corners and we're about ready to get this one underway. This is round number one. So we're in the bottom half of the draw in the men's 51 kilogram flyweight division. And this is a contest between boxers from Uzbekistan and Spain. The compact figure wearing red is Hassan Boy Dusmatov, 28 years of age. 2016 Olympic champion comes to the ring with a 5-0 professional record under his belt and is the 2022 Asian champion from the edition in Jordan or Asian continental gold medalist from the edition in Jordan in 2022 and the same year his opponent Martin Molina the tournament number two seed took continental gold on the European stage in Yerevan Armenia he too competed at the World Championships in Belgrade, but was eliminated in the first preliminary round by Artem Zakirov of Russia. And that is the fate that befell Hassan Boydos Matov, met the eventual champion Sakhan Bibosinov, because he entered with no seeding because of his activity in the professional ranks. So he had the Olympic champion going against a world champion, and it was Hassan Boydos Matov who was eliminated in the first preliminary round. Here he's boxed his way to the podium. And you can see he's often at a height disadvantage is Hassan Boy, but he uses raiding attacks like that, in and out without reply to score with that southpaw jab to the body. Same shot once again, and that is a scoring blow. And Molina, aware of that. That is why he's looking to quicken the tempo, but Hassan Boy, when he's flowing at his best, a magnificent mover in possession. A fantastic ring generalship. And just changing his stance momentarily to increase the distance. Wonderful right hook landed by Molina. And Hassan Boy just using quick feet to put himself beyond punching range and here's that scoring single to the body. So scoring punches perhaps at a premium in this round but the majority of them have been landed in eye-catching fashion by Hassan Boy Dusmatov. The gap existing between the 251 kilogram flyweights and he's just closing that distance in the blink of an eye before reversing at the same speed that he went in. Fainting with the feet to try and lure 
Molina. Hassan Boy. Again, the 10 second clapper wasn't even audible because of the percussive rhythm being pounded out on the drum. Or well, I should say, drums that are being used here at the Humo Arena. The fans in fantastic spirits. Uzbekistan sending a full strength team as we take a look at the brilliant work to the body from Molina. Hassan Boy with effective dropping downstairs as well, scoring with single jabs. First one, two was an eye-catching combo on that occasion. So a clean three for the cards. All five judges scoring the first round in favor of Hassan Boy Duzmatov. So into the second round we go. Uzbekistan stands a full strength team to this edition of the World Championships. And they lead the way by getting nine men through to the semi-finals. Cuba sent 12 boxers to the quarter finalists. And Cuba and Russia earned six medals apiece. Those are the quarter finalists that Uzbekistan sent through. 11 of their 13 making it through to the quarters. Nine men have made it through to the final four, including Hassan Boyders Mato. Taken the opening round, 10-9 for all five scoring judges. A terrific exchange at center ring, but does Mato ending the exchange with those pot-shotting singles? Perhaps they're not singles because they're coming in such quick succession. There is a single, but oftentimes a spearing left cross is followed by a poking right jab. Just keeping his offense flowing. Molina looking to get more leverage onto his punches, perhaps the heavier puncher. But Hassan Boy, such an experienced operator now. Kicking away to the body with the left hand is Molina. Darting right jab. Looked out once again by Hassan Boy. And he's receiving magnificent support from this crowd here at the Homo Arena. Homo Arena opened in 2017. Used extensively for ice hockey. Of course, fights have been known to break out on the ice during an ice hockey match. As another terrific exchange. Sees Molina digging down to the body. For the previous 12 days, yesterday being a ref, rest day, of course, but for the previous 12 days, it is world class boxing and the IBA World Championship that has taken center stage here. And at the very heart of it have been the host nation sending a full contingent and having nine men through to the medal stages from the 13 that they entered, one in each way player. Hassan Boy does mat off emblematic, emblematic of the quality that exists in the Uzbekistan boxing program. Terrific combination punching ended by a left hook to the body by Molina inside the final 30 seconds of the second round. Both men, their reflexes remaining as sharp as in the opening round. And again, it's Hassan Boy who will be drawing inspiration and extra energy. The support of the crowd almost serving as an elixir whenever things get tough. And that is one of the benefits of home advantage. There are, of course, some boxers who relish trying to silence the crowd. But if you ever witness sport behind closed doors during the pandemic, it makes an immense difference. And it was interesting, so many sports returned statistics of home teams doing better when there was no supporting evidence and it was just silence all around. Hassan Boy using the home crowd to terrific effect to take the second round unanimously to return scorecards of 2018 for all five scoring judges with three minutes remaining. Well, we mentioned how hard 
the boxers are working, but so too is that Uzbekistan coach. Really does give his boxers everything he's got physically. The instructions will be coming in from he and his colleague outside the ropes as well. Flag of Uzbekistan being flown in celebratory fashion with three minutes remaining in his 51 kilogram flyweight semi final. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your third and final round. So, into the third and final round, we go. Hassan Boydouz Matov, the 2016 Olympic champion and Val Barker trophy winner from that Olympiad in Rio seven years ago. Looking to return to the World Championship final and at least emulate the accomplishment that he produced in the 2017 edition where he came away with a silver medal, losing to the tiny giant Johannes Argelagos in the gold medal bout. Again, I was ringside at that tournament to commentate. And those two produced a most magnificent spectacle. So Hassan Boydouz Matov, aware of the fact that he's got a comfortable margin of advantage, 20 points to 18 for all five scoring judges, up on his toes, dancing, dodging and darting left and right. But look at Molina remaining committed to his task shoveling in punches to the body trying to slow down the twinkle toed movement of Hassan Boydouz Matov. Does Matov again the clock is on his side and with every second that elapses the greater the requirement and more pressure the greater the requirement for Molina to find a knockout and the more pressure heaped on him because to try and tag a boxer as experienced and tough as does Matov cleanly that is a difficult task indeed. Does Matov looking to bring all of his experience to bear here. Good left hand landed by Molina after he was touched by a scoring single from Does Matov. But Does Matov, we saw his coach working furiously on his legs and look at the manner in which he's using his wheels here in the third round. He has never stopped moving, spinning out of the corner. Able to skit and skip both left and right, clockwise, counterclockwise, make the man miss, and that expends far more energy when you swing and miss rather than landing on the target. But Molina, again, hard left hand to start that combination success. But Hassan Boyd does matter. All of that road work paying dividends here now. Not quite sure of the time of day that he does his road work, but fighters of yore often did it first thing in the morning when the general populace are asleep. They're out hitting the hills, pounding the roads to ensure that when they step beneath the bright lights on fight night, that they are not found wanting in terms of conditioning. But Molina continuing to press, continuing to go in search of the stoppage that he needs. Does Matov now knowing that the closing bell is imminent and that is why he's just managing this contest. It's been a wonderful display. Right hand is a scoring shot from Molina who has never stopped coming, never stopped taking the bout to Hassan Boydouz Matov. But there is the bell that will see Hassan Boydouz Matov return to the World Championship final in a bid to claim World Championship gold here in front of his home fans. A sporting embrace for their man from the Spanish coaches because Martin Molina acquitted himself commendably. He never stopped competing, never stopped going in pursuit of the stoppage that he needed after six minutes were completed and he was trailing 20 points to 18. Fantastic performance produced by the tournament number two seed, but one suspects he has been bested by Hassan Boydouz Matov. Let's get the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, fight 502 comes to a close in your semi-final session of completing the scheduled three three-minute rounds in an elite men's flyweight division matchup. All your judges see it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision. To the right corner, there is the moment of confirmation. Hassan Boydouz Matov of Uzbekistan has boxed his way through to the gold medal bout here in front of his home fans at Tashkent 2023. That is why that gigantic Uzbekistan flag is being passed around among supporters here at the Humo Arena. Hassan Boydouz Matov with a quite beautiful display of boxing and moving 
accurate pot shotting, scintillating shot selection. And we will see him again in the gold medal bout. A warm embrace from his coaches because Hassan Boydus Matov has at least emulated the accomplishments he achieved in 2017 when he came away with World Championship silver. But he has his designs on World Championship gold here. He's at least $100,000 richer and he could double that to 200,000 in the event that he can occupy top spots on the podium. He will face off against Bilal Benema of France in the gold medal bout. And what a contest that promises to be. As for Martin Molina, he comes away with a well-earned bronze medal, the tournament number two seed. And again, he fought right up until the final belt here in his pursuit of a place in the final. But that is the prize that goes to Hassan Boydus Matov, a unanimous point decision.